Aboriginals are the indigenous peoples of Australia and they've been there for thousands of years. And today we're going to learn about one of their art forms called X-ray style painting or drawing. The X-ray tradition in Aboriginal art is believed to have begun about 2,000 years ago and continues to this day amongst its people. As its name implies, X-ray style art shows the skeletal structure, the bones, and the insides of the animals and humans that are depicted in this art form. Through the X-ray style drawing and painting, the Aboriginals express their deep connection to the natural and the supernatural world. Ancient X-ray drawings were created on cave walls in an area known as Arnhem Land in Australia. This is the Northern Territory of Australia. Modern examples of X-ray style paintings or drawings are done on bark or paper. To create an X-ray style painting or drawing, the Aboriginal artist will start with an outline or a silhouette, often in white, of their figure. And then they will add other details in the internal organs and bones in yellow and red. For our artwork here today, we're going to simply use red paper and a white drawing pencil. Before we get started, the first thing you want to do is do a little research on the animal you might like to draw. There is this handout in your Google Classrooms handouts that shows some of the basic skeletal structures of some basic animals. There's a frog, a lizard, a bird, a fish, and a mammal. This could be a cow, a horse, uh, anything like that. Uh, other indigenous animals to Australia would include the kangaroo or the barramundi fish that is often depicted in x-ray style drawings. So the first thing I want to do in my sketchbook is practice drawing my crab. I Once I've settled on my idea for my piece, then what I want to practice is something called RARC. RARC is this cross hatching that is so prominent in x-ray style drawings and paintings of the aboriginals. So in order to practice that, I can just create some shapes or spaces that are going to be in my drawings and plan how I'm going to include RARC. Now RARC is spelled like this, R-A-A-R-K, and it includes close together horizontal lines, vertical lines, and other diagonal lines and they're all placed closely together and there are also lines that are called crosshatch lines where just as the name implies they crisscross in a variety of ways they might be horizontal and vertical they might be diagonal in both diagonal directions or they might be horizontal with some diagonal lines or any combination thereof. So you want to practice what looks the best in some of these spaces that you've created so that you can decide what you want to use in your actual drawing. 
Once you've decided on what it is you're going to draw, then you're going to get the red paper and redraw very carefully using a regular pencil your idea. Once you have everything drawn out, then you're going to switch up to the white pencil and outline everything. Go over your pencil marks and begin adding all of the details that are required. You don't want to draw anything more with the regular drawing pencil except for the basic outlines and shapes that you're going to include in your x-ray style drawing. You don't want to use the regular drawing pencil to do your work. You're going to add those details directly with your white pencil. Plan accordingly. Think it through. Don't rush it. Take your time. If you think about what you're going to do, if you plan how it's going to look ahead of time, you can draw directly with that white pencil without worrying about messing up. You'll be confident in every single mark that you make. And the more you do this, the more confident you become, the easier it becomes, and the more quickly it goes. But again, you want to take your time as much as possible so it looks like you took your time and it doesn't look like you hurried through it just to get it done and you actually enjoyed what it was you were creating.